and welcome to another episode. Uh, in this episode, we'll be covering networking for a weapon system we made last time. Oh well, a weapon menu. Um, this is more like an extra episode. If you already know how to do basic networking, you don't really need to watch this. Um, so, what I did before I started recording was that I made a function to include server files. It's essentially the same as the client, but instead we just if server, then we include it instead of if server add clients at Lua file. That's basically all. And then I made this, like I added this file down here, so it would be loaded. And then I also made the file itself, I just put something in for now. So I've joined my own server here. And if I open up the menu, we still have this menu from last episode. Um, nothing anywhere else. So now we want to wanna do so if we press this, it will buy it. So, um, let's start off with the basics. Um, we, will, we need to add a network string here at the top. I'll just call it weapons.purchase. Okay, so this needs to be on the server file. And then we need to receive it. Um, the first one is the length of it, of the message sent, and the second one is the play object. Okay, so, now, we need to figure out how we can identify whatever they're going to be buying. So, if we look at... If we go down here and find this, I'll uh, move it to... Um, this is a shared file, so just for convenience, we're just going to put it in here. Um, okay. So, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have to figure out how we know where it is. Um, on the server when we send it, because we can't just send... If we send this, the player will be able to manipulate that on the client, and they'll be able to give itself a weapon we want. So what we, what we are going to do is we're going to go into this here, and then add on duplex. Now we gotta start a message. Actually, uh, sure. Let's just move this over here so we can see it. I like to do like this first. I do a message itself and then do rest. So we need a way to identify the category it belongs to. I'm just gonna call it add call an item ID. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send. I'm gonna send this, uh, send it as an integer, so it's cat. Uh, the next is the amount of bits we want to use in this. Um, a fast way to find out how much it can be is just take two to the power of eight. So that could be two hundred. Uh, the maximum would be 250, 256 if we type eight in. Uh, there won't be mo many categories, so I usually just eight in here, and then we want to do the item ID and. I would say that 2 to the power of 16 is fine. 65,000 numbers. Okay, so now we need to figure out how we know which one is which. Well, basically, we know it by this the cat and the index. I am. Um, oh, we already have this. I'm not. I'm 100% correct. If I press. This now. Yeah, okay. I need to print it after, my bad. Um, yeah, let's say it's category 1 and then item 2 if I do this. So that's fine. So now we can read it on the, on the server. We need to have the same byte size, a bit size, bit size. So first we want to find, find, find the table. And if we go under the door here, where we put the config file in, tool you add our weapons. Let's get on. Square brackets cat. We need to index it, and to make sure it actually exists, so nobody is sending fake stuff. Just if it doesn't exist, or if it's invalid, it just doesn't do anything. Okay, and now we know it's now because now we know it's in here, somewhere here. 
can see all this. What we can't do is we can just do table of items. Item ID. And again, if it doesn't exist, just return it. Okay, simple. Um, so, now it's easy part. What we will do is we can check if we can afford if. Okay, can I actually just do price? Uh, table the price. And then, if not, player can afford price. Then return it in. Can't afford it, so it doesn't matter. Um, and now we know that you can afford it, so we can just minus the price. We can give the gun to him. It's gonna be a table dot end. So, let's see if I actually now I have no weapons. I do this, if you look at my money. It took the money and gave it to me, it didn't select it. So you wanna select the weapon? Okay. I think this is how you do it, so let's try. Yeah, it bought it. Okay, good. Yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. Um, that's all. But uh, let's say that we wanted to change the background of this in case you can afford it or in case you can't afford it when you hover over it. We could do uh, is let's see now. Can I actually just find a color like this? Oh, we already have the color, don't we? Oh, so, oh that's for the text, of course. So yeah, if you can't afford it, it's gonna be... Um, it's gonna be red, I forgot. But, just to demonstrate, just to do so we don't sell the network much, just if you, even if you can't afford it. Just gonna... Check here. Okay, I forgot this. And so basically what we're doing here, is if a player can't afford it, we're just gonna return because we shouldn't do anything in that case. But if we can afford it, we're gonna set a network message. And then on the server, that network message is first, it's gonna get all the data we need, and then it's gonna find the table. And if it found the table, it will check if we can afford it. And if we can afford it, it will take the money from us, it will give the weapon to us, and it will select the weapon for us. Pretty simple. Let's just try and do it. Um, Still be paying, it'll still it'll keep giving you. Uh, that's actually a problem though, so what we could do is we can just. If fly has weapon, table the end, then return the end, and then. Uh, just for this example, we could send him a message. You already have that weapon. Okay, so let's try and buy this. Yeah, it doesn't take money, it just sends us a message. Um, oh yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, and that's all. This is just a tiny episode compared to other, but it demonstrates how you can use networking to accomplish what you want to do.